Recently, I've seen a lot of tips and tricks videos. However, they just show you the easy stuff. So now I'm going to show you the hardcore stuff. Window climb was patched. However, there is a new method to window climb and I'm going to explain it to you right now. I'm going to slow down some of this clip so you can actually understand what I'm doing. This one actually took me a little while to understand, but it's actually pretty simple once you get the hang of it. All you need to do is flick from the side you're moving from. So for example, on this clip right now, I'm moving to the left side. And as you all know, I'm flicking to the left side. After you flick, you need to move from the opposite direction that you flicked from. All you need to do is practice. This is kind of like a wall hop while you're moving. But trust me, it's worth learning after all facility zero has a lot of windows now. You can literally do this in every window. There's a little secret that most of you guys don't know. If you hit someone right after your runner ends, you're able to hit the second target without any type of cooldown. And that's absolutely insane. All you gotta do is timing. You really gotta learn timings in this game. This next trick is all about timing. It's called Garage Peak. All you gotta do is run to garage on the vent's direction. And once your runner ends, you jump and hit the person that is going to the vent. This allows you to get some early round kills and show everyone that you're the boss. There's nothing more badass than killing someone through a wall. So here's a trick that I'm going to show you. This is probably the easiest wall bang you can learn in the entire game. All you need to do is jump on the direction that I'm showing on the video and spam your hammer. If anybody's hacking on that position, they are dead. And if you do, don't forget to clip it and send it to me. Some of the most recent Roblox updates actually broke the game's physics. So now you can get on top of the roofs just by flicking like I'm doing on this video. That's literally that. And if you can do it at first try, just keep jumping until you get enough height to grab the roof. You can also do this as Survivor. All you need to do is crawl in the middle of the bush and jump and there you go. This is very useful to make the Beast Waste Runner. All of you probably thought that elevator glitch is patched, however, you can actually still get on top of it. If you use 30 FPS, this trick is actually a lot more easier than 60 FPS. I've only been able to do at least 5 times with 60 FPS, and I've been always consistent when I'm with 30 FPS. So download Roblox FPS and Locker, link in the description. And no, it's not a virus. This next trick requires no head collisions, so here's on the screen right now how you can do it. And wait until your character wakes up. And there you go. You have no head collisions anymore. You have no idea how overpowered this is. Not only this allows you to vent a survivor a lot easier, but also allows you to hide on this little spot that I'm showing you right now on an aeroport. I know, it's actually insane. I'm pretty sure that in the next update, Wind is going to fix this, so abuse it while you can, guys. And don't forget that Halloween is close, so head glitch is about to die. As a bonus for this video, I'm going to show you some window climbs on a Bane Facility Remake, one of the newest maps added to the game. All of the window climbs I'm showing you right now are very simple, they don't really require any type of mechanic, you just gotta kinda figure out where to place your camera and where you want to go, but other than that, it's pretty simple, it's all about the movement, and once again, it's all about practice. As long as you mimic everything that I do right now, you will be fine. If this video gets 850 likes, I'm gonna do a huge video explaining you every single trick possible on this game. And also, don't forget to subscribe and join the badass facility gamer squad. Goodbye gamers!